Hey guys, Ponce here on the PBE, here to talk to you guys about a large number of balance changes to a whole slew of AD items. So this is an addition to um, Storm Razor, which was also introduced on this PBE patch. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I made a video on it, so you can check that out on my channel. But in any case, let's talk about these balance changes, going from the more important ones or the larger ones, going down to some of the smaller ones. So first off, let's start with Infinity Edge. Now keep in mind... Uh, of course, this is PBE. Who knows if this will go live exactly as is. There may be some number changes, etc., etc. But, um, I mean, in terms of that, for example, like, GF Sword currently on the PBE builds out of two BF Swords, which seems a bit clunky. I don't know if it'll go live like that, but maybe it will. We'll see. Now, in terms of the actual Infinity Edge itself, um, aside from giving, you know, 80 attack damage, the passives have now changed quite a bit. So remember that whole uh, thing Infinity Edge used to do, what it was known for, it's crits to deal a whole bunch of extra damage? That's no longer what it does. Um, the new passive is doubles your critical strike chance. So basically think of it as kind of like a mini, or really just Yasuo's passive, kind of. Yeah, everyone's Yasuo. Um, so any source of crit you have, you know, usually that's going to be items and stuff, uh, will now be double. So if I want to go ahead and buy, like, a f if I had a Phantom Dancer in my inventory, because Phantom Dancer gives, uh, you know, 10% or 30% crit, Phantom Dancer would now be giving 60% crit, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So that's interesting. Um, and in addition to that, the other passive is 20% of your critical strike damage. So critical strike damage specifically is converted true to true damage. So that's interesting, you know, traditionally speaking in League of Legends and really a lot of other games that have a, a damage or a stat like true damage, it's very difficult to, well, balance around because it's true damage. So we'll see, how, you know, how that balances out in terms of the numbers and whatnot, you know, when, when people start playing it. Um, should be fun times. All right, moving on, we got uh, a whole bunch of changes to the last Whisper line. So as you can see right here on the screen, well, Ass Whisper now gives um, 10... So the main thing is that I want to talk about here is the fact that it now gives total armor penetration again, kind of like the old-style Last Whisper, um, as opposed to a whole whack of bonus uh, armor penetration. Like, they changed it a while back. So basically it's reverting to kind of the old style of Last Whisper, although the numbers, I think, are a lot lower. I think the old Last Whisper was more expensive and just gave... Um, quite a bit of armor penetration right off the bat. So, uh, well, actually, in that regard, the new Lord Dominic's regard is now that, because they've removed Giant Slayer from the game. Uh, so, uh, that whole, you know, you deal more damage against people who have more HP than you thing, that's getting, getting uh, well, it's been taken out of the game, at least on the PB now. And Lord Dominic's regard is like the big penetration uh, uh, Last Whisper item. Whereas Grievous or Mortal Reminder now you know still has the Grievous Wound thing, but deals slightly less armor penetration, only giving you 25, whereas Lord Dominic's Regard is 35%. Um, now, why did they do this? I don't know. Seems a bit strange. If I had to guess, I don't know if I'd said anything on the matter. Maybe I should have looked it up, but if I had to guess, it's probably because, generally speaking, Riot, uh, they don't, well, they'll call it like... You know, for the sake of clarity, like they, they don't want like hidden stats and you have to try and figure out how much extra damage you're getting in the middle of the game. So they basically, I probably, they probably don't want people doing math in a sense, even like rough math. They don't want you thinking. So um, generally speaking, you know, when I had to decide which one to get, I would kind of, it's not even rough math. I would just go to, you know, look at the, the character screen and go, oh, well, they have this character with this item. I don't have any HP items. Okay, I think it's probably worth it. I'm pretty sure I was like right 99% of the time. That, you know, getting Lord Dominic's regard was better or whatever. But, you know, it wouldn't be super exactly 100% clear immediately how much you were getting out of the item. So I'm guessing Riot didn't want people having to think about that kind of stuff. So I suppose they saved you that step. Um, Alright, moving on. Also, let's move around Gangplank because I'm going to, like, crash out of the game if I don't do that. I was, like, halfway through the video. or like, like 70% of the video through the video last time and then the game went down. So I don't want to do that again. Uh, anyway, moving on, let's go to Essence Reaver, right here. So, Essence Reaver, um, aside from some basic stat changes, which I don't really want to talk about, because they're just that, um, they've actually changed the function quite a bit. So, it doesn't have that whole, the more crit you have, the more cooldown reduction you have thing. That you know, I thought that was kind of a weird stat. So, that's no longer in the game. Um, it's got a bunch of new passives, though. Uh, they've changed how the mana refund works, so basic attacks refund 1% of your missing mana. Um, but, and this is the more interesting, kind of weird part here. It's, it, uh, it gives you a new buff. 
Reading, after you cast your ultimate, your next basic attack within 10 seconds grants you Essence Flare for 8 seconds with a 30 second cooldown. So if you somehow get your, you know, alt cooldown super low, you know, you can't keep spamming this or whatever. So uh, it'll put the Essence Flare on buff on your character. And what Essence Flare does is gain 30% attack speed and basic attacks refund 20% of your remaining non-ultimate cooldowns. So, interesting kind of thing there. I'll just show you how that works really quickly. Let's put up a dummy. So, enemy dummy is born right there. Hack my way back to Bilgewater. Okay, so Gangplank, we're going to cast his ult up here. And then I attack. <laughs> and notice how the abilities are flashing. And I'm attacking faster. That's because I have the Essence uh, Flare buff on me. Alright, so there you have it. Next, moving on. Um, so, this is it in terms of uh, kind of unique stuff being done to items a lot of it the rest is just a lot of um, a few stat changes and value changes but uh, yeah the largest of those is going to be maw of melmordius so we're going to go right here uh maw melmordius 80 increased from 50 to 60 uh it gives more mr now so it's gone from 45 to 50 so five extra mr and they changed how the uh, how much shield you get out of it so it used to be uh 100 or 300 base plus 100% uh, of your bonus magic resistance. Now it's gone for, uh, to just a flat 350. So it doesn't scale anymore. So effectively, I mean, if you just have Maul of Melmordius and no other bonus magic resistance, it's like a very, very slight buff. Um, but if you have any magic resistance at all, or bonus magic resistance at all, it's a nerf, uh, at least in terms of that stat. But... You know, they did to compensate the other stats did go up. So, there you have that. Um, Cloak of Agility has just been straight up removed from the game. Uh, can you even still see it? Probably not. I didn't check in here. No, see, it doesn't even show up there. Uh, zeal costs have gone up. So, Zeal. Basically, Zeal, anything it builds from it has gone up anywhere between 100 to 200 gold. So, kind of a basic thing there. Uh, Bloodthirster is now 200 gold cheaper, so it's only three. It's supposed to 3,700. It is 3,500. Uh, Blade of the Rune King, or not? Yeah, Blade of the Rune King has also gone down from 3,400 to 3,200. And a Guardian Angel has changed a bit. I'll just read out the new stats. We'll just go here. So now builds out of a BF sword, a chain vest, and as opposed to you know just a cloth armor plus a stopwatch. And the new stats are 45 attack damage and 40 armor. Also, the uh, has the cost change? It must have changed. I think it's actually gone up, um, and also the stats have gone up as a result. So uh, yeah, there you have it. Those are uh, the changes to the AD items. In addition, again to um, Storm Razor, which was added to the game. Okay, well, I'll show you guys why not. If you don't want to watch my other video because you're lazy or something, this is Storm Razor here. I don't know screenshot that or pause the video and you can read the stats yourself um yeah so th this isn't all the changes in the uh on the pb currently there are a number of other weird things there's some other item changes if i recall correctly but it's you know it's not like ad focused so uh, that's potentially for another video here the other major thing i'm going to be talking about soon in a video most likely is um it's a new keystone rune passive thing uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like a, an extra attack speed one, so we'll be talking about that in the future. So yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I'm off to go stream now, if you happen to catch this video, as soon as I upload it. I'm not sure if I'll be playing on NA, or if it's worth playing on the PBE. Like, these are some fairly major changes to items, so I'm, I'm semi-tempted to play there. So, I don't know. Stop by the channel, let me know what you want to see. If you want to just hang out on NA, or, you know, go to the PBE and test some of this stuff out for you guys. Or maybe even play another game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. See you guys around. As, well. as always, thanks for watching. Goodbye.